Okay, hello and welcome everyone. Welcome to JFD Traders Tea Time with me, Thatcher Sonchowskis. Today is the 5th of June 2020. So yeah, welcome everyone. Welcome to this Friday's uh, afternoon recorded session where we're going to have a quick look at the markets, a few of the charts, the usual stuff. Uh, but before we do that, as always, let's quickly have a read through our risk disclaimer. So. The content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such, and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. As always, a few seconds for you to read the rest, and we can continue. Okay, now then, uh, just before we jump in, as always, let's quickly have a uh, well, quick mentioning of our JFD YouTube channel, to which you can always subscribe to in order not to miss any of our upcoming videos, and of course our JFD Bank website, and specifically our JFD Research page, which we also update on a daily basis. So yep, feel free to visit us here on jfdbank.com and click on the Research tab right there. Um, now then, uh, also quick update on what's happening here globally. So the figure, yes, continues to rise. Uh, the total amount of infected, um, yep. Um, but, uh, yep, it's a little bit on the slower side. However, of course, we'll keep an eye on it, and uh, hopefully the daily cases can start dropping again. So, we'll, like I said, we'll keep an eye on this one. Now then, a uh, quick update on a few of the uh, instruments here that I've looked at this morning. Some of these are going to be new ones, um, and I do have a few. I just wanted to quickly run through them. Now, the German DAX, as you can see, it continues to trade in the positive territory for now. Uh, let's see if it can uh, manage to stay here. But uh, yeah, we are still positive on this one. And uh, maybe going into next week, uh, of course, we'll, it'll, it'll, it'll depend how today's uh, trading activity in the U.S. will go through. But uh, for now, everything's like looking quite positive here for the German DAX. And uh, the next target, as I said this morning, we are aiming, uh, will be near the 12,887 zone, and that's marked by the lowest point of December 2019. Um, in a way, in order for us to start maybe considering some lower levels, we would need to see a break of this upside line first, and then we'll take it from there. Uh, now then, Nasdaq 100. So, um, so just a quick update on what's happening. Uh, what was happening here yesterday? As you can see, the index retraced back down. However, uh, looking at the cash index right now, we are seeing that the price is uh, trying to pick up momentum here, uh, the upside momentum, and trying to move higher. Um, of course, uh, yesterday we saw the uh, a hit of the all-time high level. Uh, as you can see, it acted as a very strong area of resistance, and this is what I talked about yesterday that in a way for us to um, examine higher levels we need to see a nice good strong move above this because um, this way the the index would confirm a forthcoming higher high and yep more, maybe more buyers could be joining in however let's not forget about this other idea that I've mentioned as well uh, of keeping an eye on a possible rising veg pattern here which as you can see here uh, is clearly building up and of course as you know these tend to break to the downside now again we cannot really talk about any downside until we see a violation of the lower side of the veg but if that happens then well I mean this could open the door towards lower levels and uh, yep we would take it from there guys because this could send this one back towards the 21 day EMA initially and then maybe it could go further down but however for now like I said uh, let's keep an eye on this one and uh, looking at the cash index and where it is currently where the index is currently balancing at it's trading at around 9660 mark uh, so yep keep your eyes on that one um, also we just got the NFP figures the employment figures from US and uh, Canada so I mean, those came out much, much better than the forecast initially suggested. So, and not only that, for example, the NFPs managed to get back into positive territory and uh, they've created uh, 2.5 uh, million jobs. And, uh, yep, as you can see, uh, the forecast initially was minus, uh, minus 8 million. Now, again, like I said, the number has come out much better and it, it got, it got back into positive territory. Um, of course, 
that this could give um, a boost, uh, a little bit of a boost for to, uh, to the indices um, and to the dollar. Uh, but like I said, we'll we'll jump into uh, some of the pairs uh, later. But looking at the, like I said, looking at the Nasdaq with the Nasdaq. Yep, like I said, keep your eyes on on the uh, on some of these levels. As I mentioned, the 9,737 zone. That's the the all time high. A nice good pop above this uh, could yep open the door towards further acceleration to the upside. But even then, we'll be very careful because the market might be a little bit over bought so yeah so maybe a, a slight correction could be possible however we cannot really talk about the correction yet until we get that break here of the lower side of the rising veg um, gold quick update in here so yep the dollar has strengthened a little bit on the good news and uh, yep as you can see here uh, the uh, the the pair oh sorry the pair the the commodity is drifting lower and is now testing again this uh 1694 level that i talked a lot of, about and uh in a way for us to consider maybe larger extensions to the downside maybe not today but uh next week we would need to see uh, a daily candle today's daily candle staying below this 1694 zone and if something like this happens then yes further declines are possible so again uh initially we'll target the 100 day EMA here uh, shown as the green line which in a way is not far from this key area of support around the 16 uh, 1645 50 zone roughly around here um, so yeah for now guys like I said we are leaning a little bit more to the downside here on gold however uh, we we first in order to get comfortable with further declines we need to see a nice good daily close below the uh, 1694 zone a uh, quick update on silver this is what I talked about this morning and uh, what I was saying that in a way if the 17.60 level eventually surrenders and we see a daily close below this then yes we could see a larger uh, retracement here a larger move lower however uh, still the the bulls should not disappoint too much because we do have still this upside support line taken from the low of the 18th of March which could provide uh, support here uh, from which the commodity could rebound and push up again so yep that's why guys for now we'll, we're gonna keep an eye on today's daily candle if it stays below if it closes below the 17.60 zone then yes ne next week we are aiming for a bit of a larger correction to the downside up until this upside support line uh, Bitcoin so uh, to be honest not much is happening here just a quick update um after it kind of it, this week it had a nice pop above this uh key barrier here the 10,000 and uh zero 10,000 10, mark it uh, also broke above this uh, downside resistance line taken from the highest point of december 2017 um as you can see the crypto then uh, drifted back down and uh, yep now it's stuck again between these two lines between this long-term downside resistance line and this short-term upside support line taken from the low of the 13th of March so as you can see uh, the price right now is is struggling and the and the bulls and the bears are really um, fighting it fighting in it hard uh and kind of trying to kind of you know capture the capture the steering wheel i would say like this but um for now we cannot really do anything here we need to wait for a confirmation break either another push above the 10,050 territory or a drop below this upside support line and a drop below the 9,300 level so we'll keep an eye on that one uh now jumping into a few pairs very quickly so nzd usd so the commodity linked currencies like nzd and R Aussie continued to dominate uh, the market this week and um, the currency market this week yep of course um, and as you can see here NZD USD is pushing further north however um, of course don't get me wrong at some point we may see a bit of a correction here back to the downside so first of all let's get rid of this downside line and let's actually recycle it and reuse it right here so uh, this upside support line taken from the low of the 19th of March is uh, still kind Kind of uh, indicating the direction however don't get me wrong the further it gets from this upside line the more chances for this one is to reverse uh, sharply to the downside so that's why guys for now yes uh, the it seems that the uh, the momentum is more to the upside um, however don't get me wrong it might end up reaching a strong resistance level uh, which let me just 
quickly drag this one here and actually let me just show you here the low of the 11th of December of last year as you can see we managed to reach that one and this is where a holdup has occurred so the big question here is now can we push further above this and if we cannot then well this is where the potential correction could come in and we could see this one maybe drifting back down towards initially we'll aim for the um, the 200 day EMA here which if provides support could um, uh, yep, attract more buyers and uh, they could easily reverse this uh, pair back to the upside. However, as I said, if we continue to push higher and we see, see a nice daily close above this 0 0.6523 20, zone, uh, yes, this could open the door towards higher levels. Uh, we could start aiming for the high of the 16th of January, for example, near the 0 0.6665 level or even the highest point of uh, the highest point of December 2019 and that's roughly around the 0 0.6755 mark but again uh, don't get me wrong uh, we are even already quite extended here to the upside even on the daily chart so maybe a bit of a correction could be possible and uh, we will consider this idea if we get a hold up here and if we see a daily candle staying below the 60, 0 0.6523 zone so keep your eyes on this one today and then we could maybe consider a bit of a, a larger correction to the downside. Um, USD JPY so uh, this one is popping higher as you can see so the dollar is strengthening right now but uh, in comparison to the Aussie and the New Zealand dollar uh, yep the US dollar is still not the stronger one so uh, as you, but here for example uh, uh, in relation to the uh, safe haven currencies like the um, USD JPY and the US, US dollar and in the Swiss franc you can see that the US dollar is is popping higher here and uh, yep it is breaking this uh, 109.38 level that I talked about this week and this was initially one of our targets we managed to reach that but now as you can see we are pushing above it so the big question here is can we stay above this uh, above uh, the above this barrier can we stay can we have the daily candle staying above this barrier and if so then yep higher levels could be met next week so keep your eyes on this one could be quite interesting for now everything is still looking quite positive however like I said keep your eyes on today's uh, trading activity and uh, well uh, let's see if like I said if the daily candle stays above this barrier uh, briefly uh, USDCH chef so this is what I talked about this morning where I initially I was telling you to keep an eye on this uh, barrier here the lower side of the range um, where we could see a, a reversal here a nice uh, correction back to the upside however what I was mentioning that if this barrier provides a resistance then um, then yes uh, we could see another round of selling however as you can see the pair broke above this area uh, on the better numbers from the US and uh, yep it's now trading above this uh, lower side of the range near the 0 0.95 uh, 0 0.9588 zone so we'll keep on monitoring it for today um, if we like I said if the pair does remain here then maybe it could open the door towards higher levels within the range uh, but going into next week of course but not 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 something that uh, uh, could be it could happen today um, but if like I said if today it does stay above the lower side of the range then we could consider a possible move higher here within the range. Uh, to get a little bit more comfortable with that idea, we would like to wait for a push above the high of this week near the 0 0.9648 zone, and then yep, aim for for some uh, some more upside. Uh, GBP USD. So uh, here the situation is quite interesting. Initially, the pair was pushing higher, and it did have a, a good move here above the 1.2650 zone, the one that I kept mentioning here this whole week. Uh, but as you can see now on the numbers that the fact that the dollar strengthened uh, it the pair is now drifting back down however the big question can we actually stay above this area can we stay above this 1.2650 uh, today and uh, basically can the weekly candle close above this um, for now to be honest it's probably going to be a little bit of a, a waiting game so that's why let's not rush into anything let's probably uh, leave it for this week and uh, just monitor the the daily candle and where it's going to end the week if it's let's say it's, drifts back below the uh, 1.20 if it closes slightly below the 1.2650 zone uh, but remains above the 200 day EMA 
then maybe maybe uh, it, everything will be decided next week however if this sharply drops back down and ends even uh, ends the week even below the, or ends the day below the uh, the 200 day EMA now this could mean that not everything is good here in the bull block and we could see a bit of a correction here to the downside so that's why guys for now be very careful here with this with this one if it pushes further north of course the next target here here is the lowest point of February near the 1.2726 zone and then we'll take it from there a quick update on GBP Aussie so this is what I was uh, kind of talking about when I was uh, mentioning about the, mentioning the NZD USD pair here so yes the the uh, commodity linked currencies are the stronger ones this week however um, as you can see here on this pair GBP Aussie is finding very good support this week near this uh, one point uh, let me just quickly uh, lift this chart a little bit the 1.8058 zone as you can see this level here is con 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 continues to provide decent support and uh, well in a way for now uh, we are still keeping in mind this idea where we could see maybe a, a bit of a correction here back to the this to this downside line um, however um, if the uh, if the well if, if the if the bulls had enough already here and they will be ready to break this downside line now this is where it could become very interesting and uh, the it could open the door towards higher levels for this pair but until then uh, we cannot really talk about the upside until we see a, a clear violation of this downside Side line uh, taken from the high of the se uh, 2nd of April or in other words the highest point of April um, GBP NZD again similar story here we are at a very imp in key important area of support uh, this is the lowest point of December 2019 as you can see this is where the pair drifted to um, a few weeks ago when I covered GBP NZD this was the level that I was targeting as you can see the arrow kind of shifted a little bit more to the left now we've surpassed that arrow and so uh, basically now the big question here is can we uh, can this area continue to provide support because uh, if it can then we may see a nice rebound and a push back to the upside towards the um, towards this 200 day EMA um, but if this eventually fails and we see a drop below this low of the the low of the lowest point of December 2019 then well for the clients are possible and uh, one of the levels to keep an eye on is of course here near the lowest point of October 2019 and that's roughly around the 1.93 uh, 18 zone so keep your eyes on that one uh, euro GBP so uh, Euro GBP. I talked about this one this morning, and I was telling you that guys that we are keeping close eye on this barrier. But uh, of course, we were a little bit more on the positive side. However, uh, the euro started giving up its gains. Well, that's understandable because of the strong rally that we already saw this week. So. Uh, this right now you can see that the pair is uh, correcting back down however it still remains above this area of support near the 0 0.8864 zone um, and in a way it's kind of forming another little range here so it previ previously was in a range now it's forming another range and uh, in a way for probably until we get a clear break either either th either through the 0 0.8995 zone or I would say a nice a nice strong daily close above this area then yep we could aim for higher levels but if it does and if it drifts lower and drops below the lower side of this little range here uh, and drops and closes the day be below the 0 0.8864 zone then well I mean lower levels could be met but again for now probably we'll take a bit of a neutral stand um, Euro GPY so um, also so something that I mentioned this morning and uh, uh, one of the main targets here for us was the 125.23 zone marked by the high of the 30th of April or sorry 1st of May I do apologize 1st of May 2019 um, but what I was saying that in a way given that we already had a sharp move sharp acceleration to the upside here then uh, maybe actually a bit of a correction could be possible here maybe back towards this uh, the highest point of January which we've overcame comfortably uh, this this week uh, maybe a drop back down here towards this area towards the 122.87 zone could be a possibility for, and uh, if it provides support then another round of buying uh, we could see another round of buying uh, possibly leading towards this highest point of May 2019 
near the 125.23 zone. However, if this level breaks, if the 122.87 zone uh, uh, gets violated and we see a daily close, a strong daily close below this, then well, we could aim for a bit of a bit more declines towards the 121.15 zone marked by the high of the 25th of March. And uh, yep, we would take it from there, guys. So for now, uh, basically the idea here is something like this, where we could see a bit of a correction here, given that the um, the pair has accelerated sharply, uh, but we'll all eyes are on this uh, highest point of January near the 122.87 zone. And finally, EURUSD. So uh, this one is drifting lower. So yep, perfect. Um, perfect move perfect correction down this is what I talked about this morning and uh, yep uh, in a way uh, the stronger dollar of course right now is helping this pair to helping the bears of this pair to move a little bit lower we'll keep an eye on this 1.1237 zone we'll see if it acts as a good area of support if not today maybe next week so like I said depending on how this candle is going to end but most likely we might see euro dollar closing today in the uh, ending this today's trading in the uh, in the red so yep uh, we'll see like I said we'll, we'll take this one pick up on this one on uh, pick up on this one next week and uh, the big question will be can this area here the hundred uh, 1.1237 provides support if it can a nice rebound could be possible here and the push towards these highs that we saw here in March uh, so the high, the 1.1458 initially that's going to be the our, our one of our targets which is marked by the high of the 10th of March and the high of the 9th of March uh, near the 1.4 1496 zone so again for now guys keep your eyes on this one if the pair starts dropping further down and moves below the 1.1147 now this is where um, this is where maybe uh, lower levels could be met initially of course we'll aim for this 200 day EMA we'll see how it performs around here but if it overcomes this then yep for declines are possible so guys I really hope you found it useful and uh, thank you very much for watching and listening thank you very much for sticking around and I really appreciate your time so so I hope you found this video useful and uh, I hope like so you have you will have a fantastic weekend everyone and uh, stay safe stay safe both health wise uh, market wise and uh, everything will be fine so I'll see you I'll, I'll, I'll catch up we'll catch up on uh, Tuesday because they just let you know that on Monday there won't be any traders espresso nor uh, tea time so yep uh, cat, catch my videos on Tuesday at as always my first uh, espresso uh, at uh, around six o'clock clock GMT time so yep and uh, yeah we'll pick up on some of these instruments some new ones and we'll take it from there so have a wonderful weekend everyone and I'll see you on Tuesday thank you very much and bye